What's going on guys, Lomax here, and welcome back to another episode of our Roll and Playthrough. In the last episode, we continued with the Nox DLC and rescued Athena. Now we have to exact her revenge on the Atlas Corporation. Athena, I am here. Wow, an Iridian weapon. Okay. So we gotta do Codebreaker, I believe, is the story mission. Yeah, okay. So now, we have to go find a code. So we have to go back to the Sunken Sea. You're, you do a lot of back and forth in this DLC. You know? We just came from there, breaking her free from prison, and now we have to go back. And it wouldn't be a problem, except there are literally no fast travels other than the one in T-Bone Junction. The nice thing about the Ridgeway now, though, is that the roadblock that was there between the two outposts is not there anymore. It shouldn't be. It might still have a chance, I don't know. But hopefully it's not there, because it saves so much time. Yeah, we still have to get out anyways, because we have to grab this info. Uh-oh. Oh, driving. Why is driving so hard in this game? Cars feel... they feel more wild, to be honest. Yeah, see, all this is... You know, we can drive through here. We couldn't drive through here before. But we still have to get out anyways to grab this. And the code is... Ice cream day! Oh, snap! It's ice cream day! Rocky Road! A la mode! Oh, I'm in the mode for ice cream day! <laughs> oh. Oh, dear God, what was that? What? It stopped playing! This is my favorite echo. It just stopped playing. That happens a lot, I've noticed, in this, in this game, in the remaster. Echoes just stop for some reason, and then... The game thinks they're still playing, so all the other audio is quiet. Anyway, someone catches this guy singing about Ice Cream Day, and then they talk about the code being at the world's largest bullet. So we gotta go there now. Except I can't truly capture the gloriousness of this echo by giving a synopsis. You have to listen to it. And already you can see the world's largest bullet right there. I wonder why they would have needed to create a bullet so large. It's kind of overkill. No reason to create a bullet that large. Burn them all. Feel like the Mad King. But here's the access code. Oh no! Okay, well, this is a bad idea. See, now it's blocked off again. Sometimes I, I don't really know what triggers it, but it can be pretty annoying because you gotta walk through this whole thing now. Level up! Another point into quick charge, and then I think we're gonna go deploy cooldown reduction. Although I might take another look at it in a bit. That's just me looking at it quickly and seeing what we're gonna do. Wow, oh, we're really far away from the, the waypoint here. I'm assuming the M is meter, so we're, we're, wow, we're quite far. Over a mile away. A mile and a half. Oh, I love this AR. Oh, my turret. I literally just threw my turret out the second I go down. Naturally. Oh. As soon as you get Metal Storm with this gun, it starts uh, popping, man. I'm not big on it without Metal Storm, but, like, you get that fire rate increase, and it's pretty nasty. If we find a better AR with a much higher fire rate, it's gonna be sweet. A long, lonesome road back to T-Bone. I never come this way. It's so weird going backwards. I'm very familiar with this going forwards. But backwards is like a different world. And I'm sure this is how it was intended to be played, too. You know, you drive to a place, you drive back from a place. But it's so much easier to save and quit and just skip the back to the place Hello. driving. Look Here. at that detonator. This, is the this kind of looks like a motherboard with an antenna. Code? Check. Detonator? Check. Armory time. So we have to activate a bridge. I didn't read why. I'm assuming because we need said bridge to go across whatever we're about to go across. Uh-oh. Oops. Who put that there? It's funny, I never hit that. But I've done this run a lot. I never hit that. I didn't even know it was there. I don't even know if it's supposed to be there, honestly. I'm trying to remember from all my runs of the armory, and I just, I don't. Yeah, we gotta turn on this bridge. There's supposed to be a bridge 
from here to there. Maybe with a grenade jump, you can jump from up there to the bridge. Probably can. But we're just going to take the scenic route and try not to die to a lancer or something. Or whatever these things are, cheetah paws. Whatever these bandit cars are called. Yeah, cheetah paw. There it is. Oh, don't shoot. Don't do it. I think we're good. Uh-oh. Don't do it. That's right. Super cool bridge. Time to cross. We gotta get to this armory and blow it up. I feel like the mines trigger a lot more easily. Also, there's no way those mines are normally there. There's no way. Did they just put them in for fun? I... Maybe I'm maybe I'm losing it. But I don't remember half of these mines being... That one might be there. All oh, the soldiers here that really don't want me to go to the armory are going to die because I want to get into the armory. Yeah, it's going to go away because I'm probably going to die. Don't kill me. No. I hate that the turret goes away when you go down. Right, I'm just going to run by these assassins because I'm not feeling their game today. Oh, so going down. I got assassins behind me, chemical troops in front of me. Just burn. Don't heal, just burn. I think we took the, the assassins are fine. Now it's just everything else. Why do you have so much health? I'm just gonna ignore him. We'll kill the other guys. Oh, that's not good. Hang on. Crimson shorty. Fun fact, uh, uh, in playthrough 2 after you, or I guess playthrough 2.5, that is one of the only sources in the game for level 69 loot. It's not the chest, actually, it's him. He's the source. Guns he drops are level 69. But other than that, I think you can only get them from vendors, and maybe there might be one more source, I can't remember. Oh. I am so happy I picked up this gun. After all this time, we finally made it to the armory. All the hardships we endured along the way. Well, that's just inappropriate timing. I got tired of waiting and was open to be dead before you got here. I can't stand this place. Make you a deal. If you best me in this fight, which seems likely, maybe you could just blow the planet up entirely. Kill all of them. That's the fairest thing to do. All you have to do is just shoot him in the face, and he just does the Robocop kid. Look at this mag size, though. What? That's ridiculous. This is why I said I was happy we found this gun. This gun will carry us for, like, a lot of the next playthrough. It, it's, it's, it's scary strong. Alright, uh, yeah, one more. We got, so we got a point. We're gonna throw it into deploy. And decrease the cooldown. So, we're actually gonna do the, I guess, traditional armory glitch some of you may know about and some of you may not. We'll do one of those, and then after we'll complete the mission, because I want to actually see if we can get some loot. Blue, yellow, cyan, and orange. Oh, I had it. Man, man. I think as long as you have it once a door opens, if you, even if you change it, it's fine. Out of the way, I... uh oh, come on. Let me in. There we go. So with this glitch, there's one room you can't go into, but you have free reign to get every single chest. 
It is the best glitch in this game. Because normally if you complete all the missions, you can't get back in here. There's, there's no way. Combat rifle damage, assault, overload, and impact. Oh, but no metal storm, though. I'm hoping for a new heavy gunner class mod. Yeah, there's just an insane amount of chests right. here. It's I don't know how many there are, but I know there's 24. So these these chests are lance chests. There's 20. I want to say 24 of them. And then there's even more red chests. Always and I don't think there's this many gray chests, but there's still a decent amount. So this is the room. You cannot go in this room, but otherwise you have free reign to All the whole right. rest of the armory. Skull Masher. I'll take that. All right, we got guns over here. Oh yes, we do, Roland. We got guns everywhere. And then we got this giant wall. Oh, dude, taking that. I can't use it for another two levels. A gasher. I'm gonna take that just so I can sell it. I'm not using that. I don't know who designed the gasher, but it's a burst fire SMG. And it, ha it can have a really, really fast fire rate, but it's it's just disappointing. Some of this gear could oh, literally set us up for the end game. Why. Another Skull Masher? What is this? I'm holding out for a purple heavy gunner class mod. Nothing yet, though. We still have... We're probably at least over halfway right. with the chests. But there's still, there's still a lot more. Oh, new shield with shock resistance. I have a path I normally run when I come in here, but normally I only get lance chests because those are the only ones you can get pearls from. So it's kind of weird doing it a different way. I have to take my time to find all these chests because I never even look at them. I always run by them. I know where all the lance chests are, but any other chests are kind of a mystery to me. There might be like one or two I miss, but you know we're going to get the large majority of them. Oh, that might actually... That's better than what I have, I think. Three in impact versus three in metal storm. Hell yes. And then this is the last room. So we're going to do another run, except All that's going right. to be we for the mission. So another skull masher. What the hell is going on? So in a minute, we're going to come back and do the other run. But I have to actually save and quit to reset this whole area. So when we do that, we'll be back here and we'll have, I think it's two and a half minutes. Probably takes three minutes or three seconds to come down that elevator, and then you get two and a half minutes to loot the place. So we're going to do that in just a minute. Instead of going through the floor like we did before, we're going to actually go down this elevator that we're not supposed to go down if we want to do the glitch. Giant creepy Lance face. There we go. Time to steal some loot. So I think we're going to go to that wall. Uh, I never come in from this way. It's kind of weird. Uh, I can open this one first. Hang on. Yeah, we get, uh... All oh, you right. get three minutes? Guns over here. I wonder if they give you more time. Maybe it was always that. The timer when you glitch in says, like, 2.33. I was just going to hit this wall, and because I think this is, like, half the lance chests are on this wall. Help. Ooh. I almost want to use this one. Yeah, this is... Oh, wow. This gun's so good. I'll take that Blad of Shotgun, I'll take that. I don't know how much space I actually have, though. I have eight more spaces. 221. This mag size is absurd. I have more ammo in my magazine than I have out... Not in my mag. That's crazy. I think I'm gonna use that other Blad off rifle, but I like SNS. I really do. Their fire rate's lower, but they deal pretty good damage, and the mag size is massive, so... No gun wrong there. So we can get the wall, and then after that, well, maybe we'll drop back down to the second floor, and we'll go over there. I don't know if we'll have much time. Yeah, we're, we can get some over here. I don't even know. We'll probably get this chest right here. That's about it. Take it. Ah, oh, it's white. The last gun I pick up is a white gun, of course. Yeah, so that was it. Armory blows up, Athena's happy, we're happy. Hello, Mark 
Marcus is happy. What do I get? What do I get? I got a good? I got a good. Athena's wisdom. Cool. Eh, she had fun. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for the Nox DLC and for playthrough one. In the next episode, we're finally going to start playthrough two. Thanks for watching, guys.